Hey everybody, it's Ken with AMN. It's March, what is today? March 18th, 2023. Just a little update of such, um, what's going on in my life. Um, I don't remember if I ever made a video, but a couple weeks ago I got COVID, a light case of COVID that felt more like the flu. Um, my tests were expired, said I had COVID. I did the normal quarantine and but during all of that, during the height of it, um, I think I had an adrenal crisis and I passed out at the toilet because I woke up and my arms were around the toilet. So I don't know what happened. I'm, we're assuming I got just dizzy and I collapsed and I have no idea how long I was there. My roommate was here, but he's like, I thought I heard somebody like fall, but I the, the, I'm like, yeah, that was me. I don't know how, I have no idea how long I was there. But ugh, so lesson learned. Take your hydrocortisone. Um, even if you're sick, you got you got to do it because you know I've heard stories, bad stories of it's like you know, and it can kill if not um, handled properly. So you know, got to suck it up. But yeah, so and the rollator, my rollator adventures has been a lot of fun. Um, it's weird in a way because like I feel like people look at me they look at me kind of different they look at me kind of like they're confused because I can get moving on that thing I can I can walk pretty darn fast you know my issue is balance so having that I get my legs moving my legs move and they go and we get there and so you know and most people look at someone like a walker or a roller like that they're probably gonna walk really slow but off I'm going so they're probably like is he faking it is he faking it? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so and I'm taking my first adventure. Um, I'm going to Kansas City here in a couple weeks um, over Easter. Uh, my friends that are out there that are um, having birthdays and I'm going out to meet them. And I'm also going out to meet some NALD family too, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, but I'm taking this is the first trip I'm taking my rollator flying. I mean, so I began, this is actually one of my first trips. I haven't even gone. I've gone to some local casinos where I took my rollator and rolled around, but I've never gone. I haven't tried, I haven't flown with it yet. So, and what I've read online, it seems pretty easy. You take it to the gate, you gate check it, you get it when you get there. And so, and it's a nonstop flight. So it's like it's easy peasy. And so, yeah, and the hotel I'm staying at has a casino as well. But to go to the casino, you have to, it's a really long walk. So, I mean, last couple of times I've been there, like you just hop, yeah, you know, you hobble, hobble, I hobble it around and I get there. So, yeah, let's take the wheels and see how that goes. Uh, because it's kind of a, um, you know, living my best life with ALD, which was the ALD Connect, um, um, the slogan at the last meeting. And speaking of the meeting, they announced that this year it's going to be in Houston. And I'm planning to go, but... I'm planning to, I'm trying to try to set it up that I can go to Reno a few days because I always go to Reno every year to see my friends out there. So I'm going to go to Reno for a couple days. Then I'm going to fly to Houston, go to the meeting, um, go to the meeting and I want to go to Dr. Now's office because that's in Houston from my 600 pound life. I, I just want to go and take a picture by the side, so... <laughs> But I actually, I looked on the map, there's like a pizza place that's like right nearby. So I'm like, if I take an Uber, I'll just take it to the pizza place. So I don't look weird going to Dr. Nell's office. <laughs> you could lose another, you should be able to lose another 30 pounds in 30 days. But regardless, though, no, that's going to be cool. And then again, I'm going to fly home. But I kind of wanted to do the Kansas City one to see how my rollator would go and make sure. Sit. But I think everything will be cool. But so I'm going to do the same thing there, too. So I'm just wheel. I'm going to wheel all over the place. And <sighs> but yeah, so and I the last couple of two days, um, the ALD Alliance had their meeting in New York. And I got to watch it on um, on Zoom, and you know, ALD, ALD Connect meetings, that meeting, like there's, there starts some of the stuff gets very sciencey, and you know, some of it's not, you know, some of the, some of the stuff is morbid, but you know, you, it's it's what it is, you know, depending on the version of the the disease, you know, and so it's like it kind of makes you think about life in general and my life and where I'm at in this thing, and you know, like. 
you know, I count blessings. I'm very thankful that, you know, yes, I have AMN. Yes. Oh, we have another thing I got to bring up when it comes to that, which I got some beefs to pick. Yeah, it's kind of TMI. But, um, like, yes, I have issues walking, keeping balance, but I got wheels now. I got wheels. I got, I got stuff. I got stuff, you know, you adjust and adapt. And, you know, like, that's, I, I go about my life. My life is quote unquote for the most part normal just like those little inconveniences so it's like and, and you know you look at it where especially when they start going into the cerebral ald and you know and it's just like you know they had a they, they had a graph like this is when they this is when they started noticing symptoms and then they had a big x basically when they passed you know which is you know you've got to think about those things but it's like you know, we don't really it's just you know it's kind of depressing. It is depressing. So then you have to sit back, look at your life, be thankful for what you got. And, you know, but, but in issues, which is what I was saying. And I just, I bring this up. I think I did bring it up on when I was in Baltimore for the ALD Connect thing where I got an award and I was to and fro the bathroom two times. Um, at the time we were blaming it on the tacos, but more and more since then i again i don't know if it's my diet but i've talked to other guys who have amn and they've said the same thing like you go once and you think you're done and you're gonna have to go again pretty soon after i had an incident the other weekend i'm like well no the first stop was the gas station it was the sheets. They have nice bathrooms. So it was like, whatever. So I go there and I was heading to the grocery store. So, but when I got to the grocery store, I'm like, oh boy, here we go again. Thank goodness I had wheels, everybody. Because the roll, and I, I made it, but, you know. And and it when it when it wants to go, again, not to go too TMI, like, you better be ready to go. <laughs> so it's like, oh my goodness, you know. Basically, the alternative is you know, to put it blunt, you crap your pants. But, but again, even if I would have crapped my pants, you pick yourself back up, you keep going, you go take a shower, you're good, you just keep moving on. But even if I just crap my pants, my life is still could be much worse. So, you know, you got, you have to look at the bright side of everything. So, you know, you got to be thankful and yeah. And then my next Boston trip, um, I think it's almost finalized. I'm going for Four days? Yeah, I think, but I'm only in Boston for three days, though, quote unquote, for stuff. Um, I'm doing the two clinical trials that I'm in. I'm having those um, visits, trying to get that done, get my MRI. Um, the one day in the middle, I'm actually going to finally get to see Dr. Eichler. I haven't seen him in forever. So I'm going to see him um, just to do like a normal checkup because, you know, he's who I originally saw when I went to Boston, but then I got stuck with these clinical trials. You know, I see other neurologists, but, you know. So that'll be cool, but yeah, so you know, just yeah, keep the feet moving, even if you got some wheels too. Keep the wheels moving. I'm gonna tell you that. I'm Ken with AMN, and I will probably check base with you after my trip to Kansas City. I want to give like a kind of a review. I was gonna do like an entire vlog, but I'm not, I'm, I mean, as much as I'm on camera, I'm not good at like pulling out my phone and being like. Oh, I just went through TSA and, you know, they strip search me. And, but I, yeah, I'm not good at that. So, but <laughs> I, I will report back. But thanks for watching. Keep those feet moving.